Good afternoon, Keepers of the Cash. Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here. And I am here with another uh, bargain haul from Rhino's Comics. And when I say bargain haul, I'm talking quarter to 50 cents to a dollar. All right. Uh, the first few books I'm going to show you, though, were uh, not bargain books. I just paid the regular price for them. And, um, but... I think you'll agree that there are uh, great books worth having. So the first one I got, and this is a future key. This is my third copy of it, but I absolutely love this book. I love the characters in it. And that is A Force number one. I got this for 10 bucks. I think that's a pretty good bargain for a near mint one. My third one. And I think this is a book that's going to pop in the future. Rather I get rid of it, or whether I get rid of it or not, probably not, but... Then I got Marvel Premiere, number 29, the first Liberty Legion. I got that for six bucks, really good shape. And um, I love these Marvel Premieres. The Marvel Presents, the Marvel Premieres, these old books, they're like uh, the Marvel 2-in-1s and the Marvel Team-Ups to me. They're just great fun, and uh, I absolutely love them. And uh, speaking of Marvel Premieres, I also picked up issue 41, which is the first appearance of the Seeker 3000. Uh, so that was a group on here, pictured on the cover. Really great dynamic art on it. And uh, Dave Cochran cover. I couldn't wait to uh, grab this when I saw it. I was actually looking at it on eBay, then I saw that my LCS had a copy. And just something about this comic just screams Stan Lee Marvel to me. Like someone went up and said, hey, I got a got an idea for a, for a group. Let's call them the Seekers. And then Stan said, let's make it more sensational. Seekers 3000. Probably not what happened, but that's what happens in my mind. It just makes it more fun, right? Because uh, a great time for comics back then. And let's see. So then I also, I picked this up for $10. This is Marvel 2-in-1 Annual, King Size Annual number 1, with, of course, the Liberty Legion. So I wasn't going to leave that in a bin when I was sitting there for 10 bucks. And then I picked this up because it's a better copy than the one I have. So the other one will be my reader. Not that this one's super fantastic, but Marvel Chillers featuring Tiger the Werewoman, number four. For the life of me, I can't find number five. So I'm going to have to search that down on eBay and buy it. And then uh, this next group here were all dollar books. So Doctor Strange Prelude, number one. I just thought Benedict Cumberbatch was a great Doctor Strange, and I really like that cover a lot, even though I usually don't go for photo covers of any kind. And then, I can't believe I got all six of these for a dollar. So, The Amazing Mary Jane, number one. I have a couple other covers of number one here, but I didn't have anything else besides number one. So, uh, Free Key Lily is definitely going to appreciate this series. And then Amazing Mary Jane, number two. Three, four, five, and of course, number six. So all six issues, and um, it says part one of a new adventure, mm -hmm. but then we all know that COVID hit and a bunch of series didn't continue after that, and... The Amazing Mary Jane was an unfortunate part of that happening. Uh, these, All these next books I paid either a quarter or 50 cents for. So I have these first two I'm going to show you I already have. But for a quarter, I wasn't leaving them in the bin. Especially when they're in nice, nice shape. So Firestar number one. This was a really fun four issue miniseries. Firestar number two. And who doesn't like Angelica Jones? Especially if uh, you grew up in the 90s watching the amazing uh, Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Then we got the Force Works Ash Can Edition. All right, paid a quarter for that. And Force Works is a 22-issue series. And uh, we'll get into that in a second. So these next four is a four-issue miniseries. And I already have issue one. 
So now I have two issue ones, plus I have all four issues coming from eBay. So I'm going to have this series twice over. And uh, I'll tell you why I picked it up. So we have, uh, let me get them in order because I just have to do that. So we have Johnny Thunder, number one. Now, this is written by Roy Thomas and uh, wife uh, Dan, Danny and uh, Dan, sorry. She was Dana and then she changed her name to just uh, D-A-N-N. -N. All right, so just a great series and... Uh, Dick Giordano, I think, was involved too. Yes. Okay, it says it on the top of the thing, so I guess he was. All right, so Johnny Thunder, number two. Number three. And number four. And this is just a fun little detective series. And as soon as I see Roy Thomas, it's almost an automatic buy, especially if it's only a quarter. I mean, come on, Roy Thomas is the best. This next is another complete four issue mini series. I only paid a quarter for each one of these. And uh, as soon as I saw the title, it was for me. And it's called The Weird. So we got The Weird issue one, issue two, issue three, and issue four of four. Now, again, when you look at the creators of this series, you have written by Jim Starlin, Bernie Wrightson. I mean, how bad can it be with that kind of talent involved, right? Jim Starlin and Bernie Wrightson, that's almost an automatic buy, especially for a quarter. All right, so next, we got a Forceworks haul. A quarter each for every single one of these. And... The thing with this series is it's only it only lasted 22 issues. So I bought a really beat up number one for a reader. I mean, it's a quarter. Who cares, right? Got a pretty good condition one for a quarter, number one. I have a near mint one on the way to me. Uh, then we have Force Works number two. Three. And what's great about this series is the team, right? You have Scarlet Witch, you have Julia Carpenter, Spider-Woman, you have Iron Man. You just have a bunch of eclectic characters, and I never got to read it, so I will. Issue 4. Issue 5, Enter Black Brigade. All right, Issue 6, great cover there. Issue 7, Issue 8, uh, U.S. Agents in this as well. So we got John Walker. All right, Down Under with Newcomer Dream Guard. Really kick-ass cover there. That's really nice. Issue 10. And one of my favorite covers just highlighting Julia Carpenter and just fantastic. Number 11. Number 12. Number 13. Number 14. Number 15. Number 16. The Cybermancer. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Number set. That was number seventeen. Number twenty-two. This was the last issue. So I need uh, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. So not bad. I only need five issues to complete it. Easy enough to get. And then, of course, we had Marvel Comics presents, and they had a Force Work story in here featuring um, Rhodey. So War Machine. So of course, I picked that up for a quarter. So that's the haul, guys. I picked up some uh, some cool key books at good prices, and then quarter fifty cent dollar haul. I don't think I could go wrong with anything I picked up. I think it was all good gets. But let me know what you think. Comment down below. Did I get good deals? Did I get interesting stuff? I know I have eclectic taste. I like the weird stuff, as you saw. The weird was there, um, and I like 
the completionist in me likes to pick up whole series, whether a four issue mini series, 12 issue maxi series, or a 22, 24, 36 issue run. It's something that's easily accomplished usually and not, not too much of a headache and it's just fun to own a complete set of something. But that's it for now guys. I hope you liked the haul video. Until next time, keep it casual.